The woman wearing a mask with a pair of glasses bearing a toothbrush always said the same thing about keeping your mouth wide open. A lamp was pulled down where you could see the reflection of your jaws in the mirror under the light. The small office had a clean, sterile feeling to it. Walking up to the office from the outside, the streets were hopping. Everywhere called out all their special services from every street corner. The second I do though, I end up getting arrested. Not like anyone would be interested in the first place. It must be a somewhat polarizing mystery for the dental hygienist right before someone opens their mouth. It could be alright, but when it's bad, oh boy. Hard to tell what assumptions were made when I sat down in the chair. Sometimes I get untrustworthy looks from the street. As if a sly snicker just fits way too well across my face. Like a kid you would find skulking around a dirty gas station chewing on a stick of jerky. Or a young rogue who could vanish around the corner of a brick alleyway with a mischievous smirk in the snap of his fingers. Don't know what that says about my mouth, though. Opening the drawer, the hygienist asked what I was up to. I can talk all about the degree I've been chasing for hours after dropping out years ago. Or my new ambitious career goals while I still live at home with my parents. I guess I have made some progress, though. I've only had one panic attack in the McDonald's bathroom this week. The employees would call it a McBreakdown. I have a feeling that's not what she was looking for, though. Some say I need to get out more, but why? So I can stand there hoping for a halfway decent tip like... Okay, here's your order. Been there, done that. Probably the same advice that the hygienist would give. It's so simple from a distance when the fine print fades. The patience to look a little closer and stare a little longer is scarce. Brings me back to public school. The earlier years seemed like a small eternity ago. Back when pen pals were a thing and Netflix came in the mail. Oh my god, I can already feel my cataracts starting to form just saying that. Sometimes I'm happy how quick time goes by, but I always somehow end up rushing in retrospect. After school, what is success? I could front six figures in Swiss engineering on my wrist, but I feel like I'd be lying. If someone asked me if I told a lot of lies, I would shake my head. I wouldn't want to say any more than I have to. My gums were pounding now. During the time, I still can't say that the thought of chomping down on the gloved finger in my mouth didn't cross my mind, though. Bet the woman could muster up a pretty good scream, I tell ya. If anyone felt like they were talking to the wind, it would be a dentist telling somebody to floss. Anyways, I got my lecture. Collecting my things and scheduling the next appointment as usual, I headed back out. The dark gold wooden doors groaned under hinges as I exited the small suite that the local business rented from.